what's up everybody out there on YouTube before I get into this video right here that you clicked on I would like to thank you all so much for watching a helping the homeless video the happy Friday hashtag happy Friday not happy Friday happy Friday um we will be doing more this summer but I'm not sure if it's gonna be with Kissland. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to come because I'm actually gonna do it in New York this time but my other friend Olivier put his YouTube link in the description down there and yeah but Kixland and I do have some vlogs coming up for you guys so we're psyched for those so yeah that's pretty much it soul lens I'm about to show y'all how I do this and yeah let's get started alright guys so recently I've been interested in making um, beats preferably trap and drill beats cause that's my favorite shout out to me chop <laughs> but um I have garage man, I know it's not the greatest, it's not the best of the best, but um, once you know how to use it, it, it's okay. So I went on YouTube, I looked up how to make trap slash drill beats in garage band. I didn't really like them, so I was going to show y'all how I do mine. So let's get to it. So first, we got these. These, wow, church bells. Church bells go nice in trap beats. Um, this is what plays throughout the whole song basically, so here it goes. That's just, okay, let me just play the second one. Here goes the second part to it. Now, these two go together actually, but the first one I played, I made it so that it goes to your left ear, and then and the, the second one I played goes to your right ear, so it goes back and forth, so it keeps you interested, you know? So, I'll just play those two together so you can get the feel. That's it right there, that's, the, that's what plays throughout the whole song. So, moving on. We got some basketball blips, okay? I do not know what type of instrument that is. I just thought it sounded nice. You can't really hear it. It's the same thing, though. So. It's the same thing, but it has the same notes, but it's just a different instrument, but I've made it really low. So um, here goes some brass. Got to have the brass, you know. And that repeats itself, as you guys can see, goes throughout the whole thing, almost except for some pauses. Um, got another brass, but I just I just messed with it a little bit, so I made it higher. And that that's at certain parts of the song that I think fit best. Um, hip hop kit, hip hop kits. Wow. Um, you know you have your bass as usual. Now the reason I made the bass so simple is because a lot is going on in this beat and I didn't want it to get too much. So to become too much. So I just did that. Got your synth right here, I think, or lead or something like that. So here it goes. Okay, that's the lead. Um, your second hip hop kit. Uh, what are these? The claps. Okay. That just go throughout as well. So now you have the rim shots. Gotta have the rim shots. Gotta have the rim shots. I love rim shots. So yeah. Um, as I meant to mention, a lot of people don't know that you can import 
stuff from your computer. Like this is not GarageBand. This is these are sounds that I put on my computer and put into GarageBand. All you gotta do is go to this music icon, go to your music, type in whatever it's called, and just drag it in and mess with it. So that's what I did. If y'all didn't know that you can do that. Um, this is okay. That's still the rim shot, is it? No. These are the hi hats. Okay, so hi hats are needed. Hi hats, to me, because it just gets you moving a little bit. You know, get that get that groove. So the last instrument that I used was these little. I don't know what they're called. See, it's a shame. But yeah, here it goes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So after that, I'm gonna show you guys the imported media I added. This is my signature thing, King Rye Beats. I'll let y'all listen to that. This is on all the beats I make because people in America like to steal stuff and claim stuff that's not there so you gotta put your name on it alright put your name on it so here we go <laughs> now with that that's actually my voice I recorded it on my phone and my voice memos and I put it on my computer and then did what I showed you guys earlier I went to the music thing typed it in and dragged it so that's how I did that. Um, right here, you got the cock, the gun cocking. Okay, let's let's be mature. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, here it goes, guys. So I put that right before the bass drops with the beat and stuff. Here goes the gunshot that drops on the beat. So here it goes. <laughs> So yep, yeah, there you have it. Little looks. Boom. Get you excited. Turn up. And then lastly but not least, you have the extra gunshots that go in the in the background and stuff. So here you go. That's one. And that's two guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you an idea on how to make a trap beat because the ones I looked at were pretty, what, I'm not going to judge, but they I didn't like them in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much it right here. It just fades out the volume for the whole thing. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video on how I make my beats, King Rye Beats. Um, subscribe, like, comment, thumbs up. Uh, keep watching. The video back there to helping the homeless hashtag happy friday and soul lens and i'm out guys peace